Um, I didn't think we matched their level of intensity. Um, I didn't think we did a really good job um, keeping them off the boards. Um, I thought we had some breakdowns defensively with our effort. Um, I guess overall I would grade them with at a 10. I thought their, everything they did was at a very high level, and I thought we were maybe 7 or 8. And so when you do that, uh, uh, it puts you in a position to lose a game at home that you really shouldn't. But you have to give them credit. They fought us tooth and nail, uh, did all the things that they needed to do to win, in particular on the boards. I think the, uh, the uh, offensive rebounds they got put back in hurt us. Um, and I thought we didn't do a good job of finishing our easy shots around the bucket. I thought we missed at least 10 layups that we have to have against a great team, especially at home. So um, I thought we looked a little lethargic, uh, both the starters and the bench. And I don't know if that was the three-day layoff. Um, sometimes you can have too much time off. But uh, now we have to go back to work, and you know, hopefully this will motivate our players and we can take our frustration out on Atlanta on Friday. Was it, were you happy with the shot selection during that point? Was it just a matter of what you Well, I'm never selection? happy with the shot selection when we go, I don't know, I don't know how many possessions, and we don't get in the paint, either by driving the ball or by going inside to our bigs. I thought we took way too many threes. We took 29. Um, so I thought we settled for outside shots when we didn't need to. Um, so that goes back to some, some poor decisions. I didn't think we did a good job when we got in bonus. I thought, uh, again, we settled for outside shots when we should be attacking. But I, but I was um, disappointed most of all, I think, that we didn't finish the little shots that we had around the basket. It seemed like we had at least eight, ten layups um, that we didn't, we didn't put in the hole. Uh, everybody that played, I think, missed at least one layup. And you can't do that against a good team. You just have to finish those shots around the basket. Now, all of a sudden, we've got X number of points in the paint, um, and we don't, we're not settling for long shots. So um, I'm very disappointed that we didn't play at a higher level. And I didn't think our bench played near as well um, as they played in the past. I thought they defended soft. Um, I thought they um, didn't give us the energy that we had been getting. But we didn't get it from everybody. And like I said, I grade Connecticut a 10. I give them credit. They played like they were desperate for a win. We played like a 7. We played like we uh, had achieved something and relaxed. And uh, you're going to learn in the, in the East, you can't do that. We need to um, make sure that we come out against Atlanta on Friday with uh, you know, the same energy we had been displaying, I guess, prior to today. Any sense of what happened? Uh, you know, I, I can't really pinpoint it. Um, I, you know, we all felt, and we all seemed, you know, pretty, pretty upbeat last night at practice. And, um, and yeah, just, you know, I, I really can't give an answer as to why we came out flat. The, the, you can go nine minutes without a field goal mm -hmm. from that point. Mm -hmm. the third quarter, third quarter, that's where they make, they make their big run. Were you happy with the shot selection? What was going on at that point? Yeah. Was it just not hitting the shot? We, um, I mean, we had so many open looks. Oh, I mean, okay. uh, we were missing layups. We were missing wide open three point shots. Um, you know, I, I myself no, missed three wide, you know, open shots. And you know, prior today, you know, I've been knocking down at least a couple. Um, you know, I think we struggled from the three point line in general. Um, it's, you know, again the just the little things and whether it's a focus or we just have to re we don't have much time to rectify it come Friday because Atlanta is on a roll and uh, we need to reel them in a bit. You've become so accustomed to winning at home. Can you talk about how tough this loss was? Um, it's tough. It's definitely tough when you lose any game, not just a home game. And um, we felt like, you know, we put together a good streak going uh, from the All-Star break coming into now. And we talked about the importance before this game about, um, you know, setting a tone for the second half of the season. Obviously, we disappointed ourselves um, by not getting this win, but it was a very good team, Connecticut. So, um, you know, we can make some adjustments. We can learn from some things and be ready to go on Friday. Did you feel like you were just in the funk there? In the Everybody was just in the funk in the fourth quarter shooting and you just couldn't find a way to pull it out? Or? Uh, I mean, you got to give them credit. You know, they did some different things defensively that traditionally we don't see. So, um and they hit their shots, and uh, we weren't able to get stops, and we weren't able to make shots. So anytime you, you combine those two elements, um, pretty much bad things are going to happen. Does it help you have, a, you have one of the top teams in Atlanta come in here so quickly? And you uh, I think so. I think, you know, obviously we're going to uh, take our, you know, I guess, disappointment, bitterness out on them and, um, you know, just try to come, come back with a, a much better consistent effort and uh, focus. I think that we played well at times, but I think that we had many lapses. So um, we're going to try to put this thing together for 40 minutes.